Hello, it's Rick from Solarcrest. Do you remember this machine we installed months ago? We're here to do second fix and commission. I've already commissioned the machine. It's working perfectly. It's balanced in all three modes. Low mode, normal mode and boost mode. We balance the machine by inserting a probe into the ducts here, but like I explained at first fix. This little piece of tape is covering a tiny little slot where I inserted the, the Testo probe anemometer and there on the extract side as well. So we've uh, plugged up the holes and uh, that's nice and balanced. So let's just move to the controls and we'll have a brief chat about what goes on there. Now you can see the summer bypass is kicked in because it's quite a warm day. And it's quite quite warm down here as well, so the bypass is kicked kicked in to offer some some cooling. So the clock's been set, and we'll just look at the the bypass settings. So we've got normal, we've got off, evening purge, nighttime purge. Well, the best setting is to leave summer bypass in automatic mode in normal. So the internal temperature is set to the same as the boiler. Sometimes it's good to increase it one degree above your desired uh, boiler temperature. And um, that will compensate for any inefficiency in the MVHR system. So internal temperature, the summer bypass will kick in if we start to exceed 21 degrees C. Okay. Internal temperature is, um, external temperature, sorry, is what you desire. We don't really want to be pulling freezing cold air in. Some people change this if they uh, want cool air coming in even during uh, spring or even sometimes in winter if people have got a boiling house, but it's not recommended. The best sort of setting and window for the summer bypass to work in is between 15 and 21 or 22 degrees. Okay. So that's set at 21. That's set at 15. Okay, let's enter into the commissioning screens. To do that, we get it into the normal airflow mode and then we press all three buttons. So we've got the, the boost supply, and that's set at 60%. We've got the boost extract, and it's higher um, because the system needed balancing. And that may mean that the ducts are longer on the extract side so the, the fan speeds had to be increased on the extract to, to accommodate for and to compensate for the resistance which has been placed on the ducting. Okay, so that's quite usual to have a difference on the, the, fan, on the fan speeds. So we'll move to normal supply, 43%. And the normal extract again is, is more because uh, using the probe arm anemometer we've managed to balance the airflow. The low supply is 22 degrees, 22 percent, sorry, and the low extract is 25 percent. This low mode is uh, programmed in to operate during the evening hours, it's just if people are a bit conscious of noise, plus there's not going to be any um, showering or kitchen activity during the evening, so uh, that's why we program in the lower mode. It's help, it helps with efficiency as well. Cooker hood supply, this unit hasn't, isn't attached to a cooker hood. Most of the time we just ignore that in an airtight house anyway. Okay, we've got boost overrun. I usually set this to five minutes just so people can get to sleep at night in case the unit uh, gets put into boost mode by accident. Let's say if you've got a switch attached to the system as well. You can put uh, mechanical switches to uh, switch this unit into boost mode too. Boost delay, don't worry about that. We haven't assigned any boosts uh, to be programmed in. But the normal mode we have set. Um, we've, we've made this machine go into low mode during the evening. So it goes into low mode at 10 o'clock at night and, and it will come back onto normal mode at 7 o'clock in the morning. And these uh, settings are, uh, we, we program according to people's lifestyles. This our, our client here chose these hours of operation. Okay, we've got the humidity sensing here. Now in the UK, the recommended setting is 70%. So 
if you lower this uh, percentage to 60 or 65, let's say you're, you're feeling a bit, little bit, it's feeling a bit muggy, then you can turn it turn it to a lower percentage, and the hum and the machine will kick in. Um, but recommended for the UK is 70% humidity. Also depends on um, what your what your house is like. Is it an airtight house or not? These proportional screens are if we have um, other switches, you can have CO2 switch, and you can have. Um, other humidity sensors as well let's say if it was in changing rooms okay but this one we're just relying on the internal humidity momentary we're not bothered about that boost button's been assigned to this house with like a snowflake in the middle so that's on so if you press that it goes into boost summer bypass is fitted on this machine no preheater on this this dry out mode that's really if you want to dry your house out but not recommended in dusty building environments Okay, let's get out of these screens. Right, what I'm going to show you now is the boost mode. So you press the button once for uh, boost, 30 minute boost. You press it again, it'll give you an hour. You press it again, it, it puts the boost on continuously. Press it again, it will turn the boost off. Okay, so that boost. Now to initiate the purge screen, which offers cooling during the evening or um, early morning on a what you know is going to be a hot day keep your finger on the snowflake and purge comes up okay so this offers cooling it just basically acts as a a large fan in the house the heat recovery cell is switched off and air is circulated around the house well it's dumped and brought in a hundred percent fan speed so this can offer cooling during the evening and early hours of the morning, recommended on a hot, steamy day, as I said. Okay, so the purge will run for two hours. There's a countdown screen there. So the moment it goes down to zero, the purge will kick off and the machine will go back into normal mode. Okay, to uh, disengage the purge, keep your finger on the button. machine's just gone back into normal operating mode. Now the Ventaxia B Plus and all Ventaxia machines are very good, they've got quite easy basic controls and the machine will look after itself. Um, once I've set this machine up like I have today, you really wouldn't have to touch it again unless you just want that cooling from the purge screen but uh, yeah quite a, a simple machine and uh, very very efficient. Okay, thanks for listening. Bye-bye.